the Spanish National Plan for Territory Observation, PNOT, responds to the need for knowledge of the territory and how it evolves over time. The PNOT provides basic geographical information which is essential for the sustainable management of the environment, agriculture, emergencies and security, among other areas. The PNOT is comprised of three big nationwide projects. The National Plan for Aerial Orthophotography, which coordinates the acquisition of aerial images and digital models of the land. The National Plan for Remote Sensing, which coordinates Earth Observation Satellite Image Coverage. The Information System for Land Occupation in Spain which makes use of the data obtained from the two previous plans to accurately locate and identify urban areas, agricultural areas, forests, wetlands and other natural areas throughout Spain. This body of information is used by citizens of all the Spanish public administrations, European bodies and institutions such as the European Commission, the European Environment Agency the Joint Research Centre and Eurostat, as well as the large-scale European programmes for geographic information-based services, such as the Copernicus programme. It is used in infrastructure projects, agriculture, forest management, environmental risk prevention and in emergencies. The PNOT follows a decentralised management model based on consensus, coordination, joint financing and collaboration between the various administrations. It follows the bottom-up model as it coordinates the flow of information from the autonomous communities to the Spanish Central Administration, the European Commission and the United Nations. The PNOT can be exported to other countries, both in terms of its objectives and its structure and organisation. The project involves collaboration between the different public institutions and is sustainable over time. The PNOT received the United Nations Prize, the most prestigious international recognition awarded to the public sector. The criteria valued for awarding the prize were collaborative work between all the public administrations, policy on free, open access to data, the economic savings resulting from producing the information only once. In short, leading the administration to provide excellent services for the whole of society.